So today I want to not focus on this little up thing we've got going on here. I'm getting a little bit too specific in what I want. We're kind of working on a broader scale. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I want to work on the the drums. So let's just have a quick listen to what we had. So I want to get some better drums here, and I'm going to bring the chords out. Uh, we'll have the chords play from just this point. Okay, let's loop this. We'll loop it from here so we don't have the white noise falling sound. And let's... Uh... Let's just mute or disable this bass rack. Okay, let's go into the drums. So I'm going to bring this across here just so we can keep playing it from the start. Let's just put in some 4-4 four, four hats. I'm not quite sure what direction I want to go in here. This would probably make it a little bit too fast, but we'll see. I think we should start adding some groove maybe. So let's go into my grooves and we'll go for... Oh, that one's already selected. Let's go for that. Let's just see how that sounds. Something a bit weaker. We'll go 59 maybe. We can adjust the timing here. Mm, I think I'll stick with this. I quite like it. Okay, so I'm not keen on this open hat here. And I think we need our own snare for this. So let's go ahead and insert a new MIDI track. Call it snare. Let's close down the groove pool and let's search for a snare drum. We also almost need a rim, I think, so we'll go rim, see what we got. Nope. That's a nice clean one. Drag you in there. And we'll make this one mile long. Bring the velocity up. Get rid of the... Maybe just this one. Get rid of that one too. And let's change the kick up a bit. I'm going to add one more track here. I'm going to call this Shaker or Shake. And let's just find a single Shaker hit. Shaker. Real simple. There we go. So let's drag that in here. Let's copy this and paste it here. Let's just remove this. And let's make sure this is on the right note. So we need to bring this down to C and up to C3. And let's just get rid of every second note. Mm, let's try a shaker loop instead. 
There was a couple down here. That's kind of cool. I'm going to use the, or I, I forget what this mode's called, but it kind of stops the transient. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that shake. I'm going to go control A, I'm going to go control U to quantize every beat and then we'll drag the groove onto the shaker. Awesome, now I'm also going to change the bass line because this is when the 4-4 stuff comes in, which is down here. Which we don't want, so... Let's go up. Mm, I want it to be quite dubby, even though it already is, but... I'm going to bring it all up an octave. I like working in my subs up an octave when I'm doing melodic stuff, just so I can hear it a bit better. See if that works down an octave. We are struggling a little bit to hit that C, so what I will do is. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to keep this clean, so let's duplicate the channel. We'll go base half time and we'll get rid of the sub we'll get rid of everything uh, no we won't because we want to retain this one because it's got the EQ in it get rid of the chorus let's have a listen to it Keep that for now, I quite like it. We should really be applying the oops, the groove to all of these. So let's do that now. Not that it will do much for this, because there's no 16th notes. Oh there are. If we were to bring the chords in here, I think that would sound quite cool. Let's just let the, let this play out a bit. Sounding good, so now that all that's left is let's drag these back and let's have a listen from the start. Let's do it. Listen to that nice big noise sweep that we've done. Mm -hmm. 